Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, this is Lacey at Laces and Ribbons. I'm going to do a craft with me today. I have been making these little hats and um, I made them into dangles and I wanted to show you guys how to make them and um, do a craft with me. So this is why, see this little hat? For the garden party, I think it'd be really cute. To do that so firstly what you're gonna need let me show you how I what I did with these some of these bows I've already stitched um, previously and there's like trim and I did stitch these before I glued them on so um, you don't have to go through all that um, cardstock and then I um, use one piece of wire and do a loop at the top and a swirl so um, that's that one then I did like a mustard colored one with these cute little chipboard bows and then this one and I don't remember which one I showed you before this one that one just wraps around but these are perfect to just attach to a binder or whatever, whatever project you're doing. So firstly, what you're going to need is cardstock or chipboard, um, paper, and punches. You can just, um, I use the end of this to um, put on my paper and um, do the draw a circle and then cut them out myself. It does take a little longer, but it's not that big of a deal. You could also use this and have a scalloped hat. And then this is the size that I used for the middle of the hat. And then this one was two. Um, so what you're going to, else you're going to need is a hole punch, um, wire, whatever these are, beads and wires, um, little stoppers if you want them for your, um, dangle part, and then these to put in for the, ha the hanging part of the dangle, and then I also have bows here, and these bows I cut out from the paper pad, I made these bows, and then these are the paper also, and I made those as well. So I have those. And then I have all of this already cut out. And I'm going to glue some of it with you. And um, it's about layering. You're going to want to layer. So um, after you punch these out, you can stitch them if you want to. You don't have to. But um, you also cut out the circles and see how thick that is. I just layered them on top of each other and um, glued them together. And then, let's see. I hope you guys can, yeah, I don't want to be like in the way of myself. I'll just put that on there. These are so simple and so cute at the same time and then here's the little topper Oops. and this brim could be thicker if you want it to be thicker like look at this one this one compared this brim is way thicker and I do prefer the thicker ones because um, I like to put trim around the rim and I have all these little tiny trims. They're perfect for the rim of the hat and we'll be doing that too. So okay we glued those together and then we can just take that and glue that. I probably would say I have probably about seven or eight of these circles, the bigger ones, and 
probably about the same for the middle of the brim. So let's see. I have this gold cord type of deal. Let's see here. So see how skinny that is? Um, this is where you have to be careful that you don't burn your hands. Um, I need scissors. So I would just take the brim of the hat and start gluing it. And I would normally do this beforehand, but um, I got a little ahead of myself like normal. So see, it covers all those imperfections. Do you see? There we go. We're gonna go around the whole brim of the hat. Sorry, that's so loud. I, I when I craft, I throw my glue gun <laughs> because I'm like. I don't know. I burn myself all the time, so I'm kind of like panicked constantly when I am um, using my glue gun. <laughs> so right here, I hope you can see what I'm doing. And then I will just take that, and it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because you're going to put your bow right there. So let's see here. Okay, okay, so that one is pretty much done. Now we'll add a bow. And I don't know what bow to use. Let's see here. Do I want to use that one or let me move that out of the way. Let's see. I don't know if I want to use pink. Yeah, I like the pink one, but I also, I'm really trying to work with yellow, so I think I'll use the yellow. And then you're just going to glue right across the top of that, or the back of it, like that. Just a strip. Doesn't have to be perfect. And glue that down right there. I'll hold it for a minute or two, like that. Then we're going to come along with the punch chomper thingy. What is this? I don't know what this thing is. It's just a hole punch thing. And I have, um, I don't know if there's any reviews on this thing, but this thing drives me absolutely bonkers because when you punch it out, sometimes it doesn't want to go in, back in, but that thing does not come out. And you have to get a pokey tool. No, see, there you go. That's why we need those poking tools. <laughs> I can't get it out unless I, like, mess with it forever. And it's kind of annoying when you're in the middle of a project that you have to stop and fix that. Okay, I picked a star punch or a uh, brad. And I'm just going to chomp that down. I really hope I'm in frame. And you want to turn it so you don't, you know, damage your paper. And I always push way too hard. Look at that. It's like flat. But that's it right there. And then you take your little loops here. I usually just open them with my finger. Bring it around and then close it. So we are going to, this is how I do mine. I just take this wire and this is like florist wire. So it is really just, I mean, it bends with ease. And, and for people that have like a hard time um, doing wrapped beads, this is perfect because um, 
be here. I'm sorry about the shadow. It's really rainy and stormy outside. Um, this bin's so easy. It just doesn't even hurt your hands. I love this um, wire. This is what I've always used. So you just grab this and twist. And don't close it, but you have your little twist here. And then you take your loop, this loop and this loop, and loop it together. Then you can close it. And there you go. Can straighten that out a little bit, but that's how I do that. Then I just add, I don't know, I just, I usually add little tiny ones, but yeah, let me grab some. Because I like the look of these. Okay, so that one, that one, I guess we're gonna do all pink with this black and white hat. And I love pink, so it's all right with me. And then another little tiny one. I got these at Walmart, the little tiny ones. So this can get a little tricky, but not really. Um, you just bend it and then you grab it, pull it back over and you have that big loop. And I usually have one of these, but this is silver. So I'm just going to show you, but I'm not going to loop it on there. I would just pull it back through there, put it on that loop and then do what I'm, I'm going to show you how to do, but I'm not going to put that silver one on there. I'll just attach a jump ring. So once it's like this, you don't even have to use your tools anymore. You use your fingers and you just twist it. Let me see. Let me get that a little tighter. Twist that and then you twist it down that one and then down that one. This wire is so forgiving. I love it. So the only thing that you're going to want to use your tool for is to twist that in a little bit and hold that wire. Twist it to give it a little bit of a design. So there's your loop. And you can fix that. That's a little wonky because I had to do it on camera. I usually can get it around the loop like this. If I'm not on camera, <laughs> see, I kind of messed up there. But it's harder to do. It's harder to do when you're trying to show somebody. So that's the little dangle. I love these. I love how they came out. They're super cute. And if you feel like that's a little loose, you can just pull that wire. They're really forgiving. So let's do this one. I'm just gonna... If I didn't explain something and you guys are like, wait a minute, what are you doing? Um, just leave me a comment. Cause I tend to leave things out because I'm kind of like all over the place. A lot of the times I'm all over the place. And so what I would have done in um, the first time that I didn't do, I'm gonna do this time and I'll show you. Let me just pick a trim. So I'm gonna pick this blue one. And it's really nice if you take your glue when you're done with this and just put a little glue on there. You could also use a lighter. And let's just start here. Please, please excuse my disgusting glue gun. Oh my word. It's horrible. But she is well used and well loved. So you just wrap it around like that. There's like hair on it. I don't, that's my hair too. Huh. Okay, well, sorry about that, but here we go. I'm going to do this out of frame because I really don't want to burn myself. You just go around the rim. And I should have done that at the bottom of that little cake, 
but I'm going to try to do this really nicely so you don't really see that. Let's put a little bit of glue right there and burn my finger. It's not that noticeable. No, it's really tiny, so it looks like you would see it, but you won't. So 